there are a few things that you can do to modify the UI elements, like a UI corner, which has um, pixels and percentages as well. And it basically just rounds off any UI that um, it can, like a frame, button, text. There is also UI gradients. And if you click on it, you can see the um, color. You can change it like normal. But to like actually do the gradient, there's three dots over here. And it'll pop up this screen. And you can add um, t uh, little like color points. And you can change the time to like halfway. And you can click the color here and it'll open the color. And you can change that and it'll affect that as you see. And you can have as many points as you want and like do whatever, change the color. You can also rotate it like 45 degrees. And you can also do transparency in the same way. You can make it fully transparent like normal. Or you can go over here and like gradient it like a ghost or something. As you can see, there are also a few other things that are pretty common, like a UI list lay layout. This basically controls the uh, children inside of the UI. So if you add like another frame and then you duplicate it, it will automatically like format the UI to look the way you want it to. So you can add um, a padding like five pixels. Also, the scale for if you have um, scale, it doesn't actually scale to the screen if the frame or o UI object isn't inside of the screen UI. So you have to compensate for that. You can use something like a UI conversion plugin tool. That's what I use. You can change the horizontal or vertical, and it changes depending on that as well. And a bunch of other things. There's also a grid UI, uh, UI, which is a bit more controlling of the UI. It changes the size as well as um, padding and stuff and direction as well. And, and that's basically it. You can use this to basically do whatever as on top of uh, code. And that's how to make UI in Roblox Studios.